Hey everybody, welcome back to my page, Hot Miss Express Tutorials. If this is your first time watching, then we're just figuring it out one video at a time. If this is not your first time watching, then thanks for coming back. So today we're going back to doing makeup tutorials. I know, I can't believe it. I can't even believe that I'm recording today because apparently I went on an unexpected hiatus. I literally, it is December, it is near the end of December right now. And the last video that I posted was on Halloween. So I spent at least a whole month not recording. Like, wowie wow wow. I'm really excited to be back and recording and editing for Glamis! Oh my gosh, yay! I have some fun things that we're gonna use today. We're gonna be using some House Laboratories products. If you are a Lady Gaga fan, then it is Lady Gaga's brand of makeup. Oh, I wish I still had the box for it. I even might still have the box for it downstairs. The box on it, like, was so... She wrote something so cute on it. I think I threw it away because I got it so long ago. All right. Never mind. But she wrote something really cute. And I was like, Lady Gaga, you're going to make me cry. And anything else that I wanted to tell you? I don't know. I freaking missed you guys. I really like this look today. I don't know how holiday it is. I would describe it as, like, an hot couture house house hot couture uh soft glam extra eye spacey look <laughs> you know my describing things is not always the best ever i really feel see that's why i gotta write things down i feel like i have more things to tell you but i guess i don't so and i'm sure you really just want to get this video started so like <laughs> let's do it ready in three two one Hashtag fresh face. Oh my gosh, it feels so good to say that. Literally, I have not said it in so long. So I don't know if you guys truly, truly understand how happy I am right now to be able to say hashtag fresh face. Oh, actually, a couple of my friends have been saying it recently and I literally just cry in public every time that I see it or they say it. And yeah, that's my life. <laughs> Let's get this glamorous look started. I'm not really sure what I want to do. Um, I had a certain look in mind and then I changed that idea and we're just figuring it out as we go through this video, as we do for, I think almost all of my videos. <laughs> Are we really surprised at this point? Truly. A while ago, like when they first came out, I bought all of these house laboratories eyeshadow, like liquid eyeshadows. Uh, this is Lady Gaga's, um, man, I wish they were all facing the same way. I don't even know if you can tell, but it makes my OCD self feel better. This is Lady Gaga's brand. I don't know if any of you guys have used these before, but I got four of them and she has a red one, but didn't get that one. That would have been really great for this holiday season. Man, I really wish I had my glasses on and I could see. Still can't see. Gosh, am I old? Oh, Dynasty. We're just gonna swatch these on my arm. How does my battery say it's gonna die already? So we're gonna use those four colors today and try to figure out a look. I'm gonna take my glasses off so you don't see the ring light. Cool. We're gonna use those four colors and try to create a look today. But before we do that, we're gonna put on our, uh, and by we're, I am. I don't know. Oh my goodness, I keep knocking this over. <laughs> oh my god, it's been so long since I filmed. All right, anyway, let's just, let's just move forward. I'm gonna turn the camera off and put some eyebrows on. <laughs> and we're back. So I did my brows and I'm actually really proud. I don't know when, but like my brow game kind of stepped up a little bit and I've just really been appreciating how good my brows have been looking lately. <laughs> um, I also put some MAC Paint Chili Pod on my eyes, um, eye primer, and I set it just with a regular nude color. You can use this in any palette that has a nude in it. I usually use the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. I literally went to pan on my soft glam one, so I've moved over to the modern renaissance, but it's literally just this little color right here. Today we're working on the house, the house laboratories house in my house. I am going to use one color from this palette as a transition color just because these liquid eyeshadows dry really fast and I just know that especially filming I'm not going to move fast enough to blend it in so 
We're gonna use the color Warm Taupe, that one right there. I don't know how that looks. I hope that you see it. What color did I say? Warm Taupe, thanks, self. As you can see, this is just giving some dimension to the eye. Like, wow, you have an eyelid. Now let's get into these house shadows. What should I use first? Ooh, I think I'm gonna take this green. Hello, this is my face. <laughs> I really don't know if you can see this. I'm gonna be really sad if you can. Okay, let's see if I can do that before it dries. That works for everyone else and it doesn't work for me. Like, reach the top of my eye. It's a beautiful green color, like for sure. What do you guys think? What I want to do on top of that is maybe put some glitter on it. I have this Too Faced peel off one, but I just don't know if I have enough in here right now. I think for the most part I did a pretty good job. Yeah, maybe. I would like to say though that any other time that I've used this green color, I've always put a green underneath it because I wasn't sure of the coverage of it, but this is the first time I'm actually using it without anything else underneath of it and I'm actually pretty impressed. It holds out pretty well by itself. I'm gonna use the pinkish color as like my inner corner and then the black and the gray like down here, but I have to put on other makeups, excuse me, before I do that. Wow, that was such a fast eye look. <laughs> so I've been using this Hourglass. I think that's the brand, yeah, where is it? There it is, Hourglass makeup, uh, veil, primer, primer stuffs. Oh god, that just, look what that did. That never happens. Okay, well, I guess we'll do that. <laughs> a little bit of that. <laughs> you know what I realized I should do before you watch my half eye this whole video is do my other side. So I guess I will go off camera and do this quick look so forking fast. All right, be right back. I finished the side and can I just say how crazy it is having two different eye shapes? So this eye, as you may know, is hooded. And so I should really always start with this eye to see how everything goes before I do this eye. But I'm always like, oh, it's gonna look so great on this eye because this is just a regular normal eye. But so I had to end up making this a little bit bigger because this ended up being a little bit bigger. So, because like when I closed my eyes, it was like, this was like way higher. Oh, I hope I didn't mess anything up when I did that. This side ended up being a lot higher than this side. And so, I don't know, I hope it's even. And also I put like a little bit of glitter like on the bottom, but like not all the way up to the tip, just like a little bit. I got this Tarte Amazonian Clay. Okay. I was really excited about it because I got it online. And as we know, I'm not very good at choosing my foundation color, um, but it ended up being my pale white self and not a yellow version of myself. My camera died. No idea what I was talking about before that happened. I put on the rest of my makeup. It's just basically what I always put on and I will put that in the info down below because I've apparently forgot how to put makeup on. We're gonna go back to the eyes and do some more things to them. Like add a brow bone highlight color-y thing. Oh, look, we're going back to this Renaissance. Nope. This modern Renaissance palette, and we're gonna use the color Vermeer. The literally the one color that I know what it's called, Aphrodite. Oh, and Dynasty now. Um, but Aphrodite, we're gonna put that on the inner corners of our eye, just like this. Wow, that's a lot. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of blend that in with my finger. 
hope for the best. <laughs> I'll like bring it a little this way, why not? And it's dry. Great. To the outer corner and use the darker color. Chained ballerina. My eyes worked. <laughs> Thank the forking lord. And actually, I'm gonna get a makeup brush ready to like try to spread it out. Yeah, you really don't need a lot. Okay, so note to self, literally you need a dab. I still have one more color to use. I was gonna put it underneath, but like I feel like it's gonna go too far down. Maybe I can just put it like on the inner biker. Biker, woo! I don't know, can you tell? Is there like a difference in the color, in the pigment? I don't know, putting it on top of the black I don't think was. Oh, I forgot I got it before this dries. All right, well, we'll just say that softened the look up. I don't know. Cool. I also got the House Laboratories Liquid Eye, liquid eye Liner. It's literally, it literally says the word lie, like you tell a lie to somebody. But honestly, this eye look, I think works without it, so I'm not gonna use it today. If I ever make a freaking makeup tutorial again, because <laughs> this is turning out like trash. And I bought, this mask, the lace mask that I was gonna wear during Halloween time and I didn't. I don't know if they're reusable though, so I wanna save it for something that's like gonna be really good, you know? This might have to wait, I guess, until next Halloween. Or like if anybody wants to invite me to a like masquerade ball, like that would be really fun. So I'm gonna be using Crave Lashes today in Chocolate Souffle. But I used it not in chocolate souffle, I used the ones that I normally use, which is red velvet. Also, I forgot to put on mascara, can you tell? We're gonna use a Moonchild Glow Kit Anastasia Beverly Hills. Fast ovule, oval, ovular <laughs> motions. Remember when I put glitter on the under part of this? It's gone. Okay, the real question is, am I making Lady Gaga proud? Okay, we're gonna put some lipstick on and I'm using the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick. My lips are super forking dry today, like they are crusty AF. I put some chapstick on at like seven o'clock this morning, but it is like almost 10 o'clock at night now and I've worn lipstick at least twice today. I would just like to say this color is not for the weak at heart. Any slash every time that I've worn these green eyes, I feel like an alien. I don't know why, I just do. I like it though. I'm gonna do what I hate the most, which is put lip gloss on because I don't know why. I like, I'm just masochism, I guess, I don't know. This will make my lips less chapped, right? Is that what gloss does? So I use the Jouer Lip Aurora. Last but not least, I'm super forking excited to show you this. Oh my gosh, okay. So I bought a million Urban Decay setting sprays recently, but I had to buy this new one because, I mean, it's the same thing, but are you ready? Are you ready? You see all the dots? It has my name on it. That's pretty cool, right? They couldn't fit tutorials in it. Well, they could, but it would have been really small and like not cute. So it's just Hot Miss Express, but like I'm so freaking excited about it because it's my day. Oh my God, I'm gonna spray it on myself. Okay, ready? This is the final look. I thought I would add this little uh, head scarf to make it look more wintry and winter holiday-ish. Does Gaga love me yet? Okay, so anyway, yeah, this really is the final look. I hope that you enjoyed me getting back into doing tutorials again um, and apparently remembering how to do my makeup because apparently I'm literally figuring this out as we do it. But if you did like this video, make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, and share it. It would be really kind of you and I would really appreciate in this holiday season. It's free. Also, you can follow me on social media. That's Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. And my Hot Mess Express tip of the day, which my friend just showed me, was if you want to get a closer look at something, like how I can see the words on the bottom of this, house packaging, you just take a picture of it and then you can zoom in and that will help you see it a little bit better. So that was a pretty cool tip. All right, Glamis Day 1 is over and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.